Hello and welcome back to the New Green Whistle Show. It has been a long, long time and today we are reviewing I Hate Zaki Scribble Dome. Let's go. It's the New Green Whistle Show. So welcome back to the show. We have a brand new setting as you can see and it is wonderful. Yes, very nice indeed. And today we are talking about I Hate Zaki's song, Scribble Dome. Now, as you can see, the Mr. Zaki behind me is a rather eccentric fellow and he actually does hail from Wales and from the band The Flash Velvet. You might remember that. Yeah, they were on the show from way, way, way back in the day. So it is actually really exciting to have this guy on the show too. Yes! Now, the most exciting thing for me about this track was the fact that it was experimental, it pushed boundaries. And as much as it drew influence from bands like Rage Against the Machine, Limp Bizkit, Linkin Park, the list goes on, it still felt new and fresh. It had this industrial sound that you don't really find much anymore. It seems that people have kind of shied away from it. And yeah, okay, it's understandable when the likes of Rammstein are, you know, up there creating the metal ah! At the same time, it's really important that we try and bring new genres together and we're always focusing on the expansion and experimentation of musical genres. And this is something that on this show is valued very, very highly. Oh yes. And before I give you the rating on this guy, we're just going to play a quick snippet. Get it. In my scribble doll. In my scribble doll. In my scribble doll. See, you see that I can see how my future's far. damn cool. So here it is, the rating, the one that you've been waiting for. I Hate Zaki goes home today with four and a half incredible green whistles. We thank you for the submission, Zaki. It was really awesome to see you push the boundaries and create something really fresh and new. Now, yes, it is a little rough to the ears at certain points, but then again, just stop being a pussy and man up. This is rock and roll. Okay, no, I'm kidding. That was just really intense. But if you don't like it, please do let me know why down in the comments below. Personally, I do feel like there is some tightening up to do, some chafing, some cleaning to do in the musical structure, but at the same time, it is a really exciting and fresh approach to this kind of rap rock melange. So, till next time, 